The top 10 foods that help to lower your blood pressure naturally. Hypertension is a condition where your blood pressure is higher than normal for a long period of time. This means that your heart is pumping harder to send all of the blood and oxygen through your arteries. Over time, this extra pressure puts a strain on the inner walls of your arteries which makes them lose their flexibility and they become very stiff and rigid, raising the risk of developing blood clots and forming plaque which can lead to heart attacks, skipped beats called arrhythmia, strokes, kidney damage, eye disorders and even death if you don't get this under control. But the question is, what causes this high blood pressure in the first place? One of the main causes is eating too much refined sugar which depletes your antioxidants, making your arteries stiff and reduces your circulation. Another main cause is having a deficiency in potassium which causes our bodies to hold more fluid, putting a strain on the heart and arteries. Also, eating refined carbohydrates like bread, flour, pastries and cakes will all deplete potassium and raise up a hormone called insulin too high, which can damage your arteries on the inside, making them very tight. A lack of regular exercise can also contribute to having higher blood pressure because the heart is a muscle and it requires exercise. High levels of mental stress can raise a hormone called cortisol which can cause problems with the signals sent to your heart. And also, being deficient in either magnesium, vitamin C or vitamin D can make your vascular system very tight and restricted, so the heart has to work harder, bringing up the pressure. Fortunately, there are many natural foods that contain antihypertensive properties which can help to bring down your blood pressure naturally. In this video, you will learn about 10 of the best foods in the world to help both lower your blood pressure and protect your arteries and vascular system. Before we get started, I'd just like to apologize for my croaky voice. I'm waiting for my Manuka honey remedy to kick in and I didn't want to keep you waiting too long for the next video. So without further ado, just a quick reminder, this video is for educational purposes only, so do speak to your doctor if you have any medical concerns. The first food to lower your blood pressure is flax seeds. Eating 4 tablespoons or 30 grams of flax seeds on a daily basis is one of the best ways to lower your blood pressure naturally. Flax seeds contain alpha linolenic acid, a healthy type of fat which helps to heal the inside walls of your arteries, whilst also helping to lower inflammation throughout your body. It's important that you grind your flax seeds just before eating them to release this healthy fat and make it more available to absorb when you digest it. I recommend adding these flax seeds to a healthy smoothie or simply sprinkling them over your salad. Number 2 is the classic whole lemon remedy. Citrus fruits, specifically lemons and limes, are loaded with vitamin C and bioflavonoids which have blood pressure lowering effects. If you want to use this, it's very important that you consume the whole lemon as most of the nutrients are in the pith, the seeds and the peel, not just the juice inside. So simply blend a whole organic lemon with 8 ounces of mineral water and sweeten this by adding a cup of berries or you can use a healthy sweetener like erythritol or stevia. Drink this on a daily basis to see some major improvements in your overall health. Unlike over-the-counter vitamin C tablets, lemons and limes have the full vitamin C complex which also includes copper to help strengthen the collagen inside your arteries and also your skin. If you're finding my croaky voiced information helpful, please hit the like, subscribe and turn all notifications on to stay updated with my latest health and nutrition tips. Coming back now to number 3 which is celery. When your blood pressure is high, it's important that you start to cut back on the refined foods and start eating more whole nutritious foods that are found in nature to help rebalance your system. Celery is one of the more powerful foods for lowering blood pressure because it contains phthalides, natural compounds that have been shown to relax the tissues in your artery walls. This allows blood to flow through the arteries more freely, naturally bringing down your blood pressure. Eat 2-3 to three stalks of celery a day in a salad or you can dip them in a homemade hummus to make them more delicious. 
Number four is beef liver from grass-fed sources. Beef liver and other organ meats are loaded with an antioxidant called coenzyme Q10, which is used by every single cell inside the human body, especially inside your heart. Coenzyme Q10 helps to support the mitochondrial energy factories inside the cells of your heart to help it contract properly. Basically, it improves your heart's ability to pump blood around the body and also improves the elasticity in your artery walls in order to bring your blood pressure back to normal. Make sure that any organ meats you buy are from grass-fed, grass-finished animals to ensure that they have a high quality standard. The fifth food is watermelon seeds. Both the flesh and especially the seeds of the watermelon fruit are rich in an amino acid called L-citrulline. When you eat citrulline, your body converts it into arginine and then nitric oxide, which dilates and opens up your blood vessels like a gas. This helps the blood to flow freely through your body and naturally brings down your blood pressure. Eating a small portion of this fruit can be an excellent alternative to junk foods or you can purchase organic watermelon seeds online and in health food stores. Up next is wild salmon. Whenever there's high blood pressure or any type of problem with the heart, it's very important to load up on omega-3 fatty acids. DHA and EPA are the active forms of omega-3s which are found in high quantities in oily fish like salmon, sardines, mackerel and herring. So start eating these wild fish twice per week to replace some of your meat proteins to see some significant improvements in your blood pressure. Wild salmon in particular is superior to the other fish because of its bright pink colour. This comes from a pigment called astaxanthin, which is very potent at reducing oxidation and free radical damage to the heart. Now, pay attention to number seven as it just may save your life, beet tops and cruciferous vegetables. Did you know that over 98% of the American population is deficient in a mineral called potassium? This is probably why heart disease is the number one cause of death. You see, potassium is a key electrolyte mineral which stops your arteries from becoming stiff and it makes them very supple, smooth and elastic. As an electrolyte, it also helps to keep your heart beating in a regular rhythm and most importantly, it balances out the negative effects of salt by releasing any fluid retention that your body is holding because salt or sodium holds the fluid whilst potassium releases it, so they balance each other out. That brings me on to beet tops. Beet tops are one of the richest sources of potassium in the world and can easily be added to a salad or even a green smoothie. I also recommend Swiss chard, broccoli, acorn squash, bok choy, cabbage, brussels sprout, zucchini and asparagus regularly to boost your potassium intake. Sipping down on my manuka honey now, we'll go into point number eight, which is pumpkin seeds. I recommend that everyone start eating a small handful of unroasted pumpkin seeds after your evening meal. These green seeds are very nutritionally dense, containing high amounts of magnesium and vitamin E, both of which can help to lower the blood pressure in different ways. Magnesium works with the potassium to regulate your heartbeat and prevent cramping of the heart muscle, whilst also preventing the muscles in your arteries from becoming tight and stiff. Vitamin E also helps to lower inflammation in the arteries as it naturally thins the blood, reduces the risk of blood clots and also helps to oxygenate the heart and prevent it from cramping which is called angina. Number nine is avocados. Avocados are undoubtedly one of the most nutrient dense foods in the world, rich in potassium, magnesium, vitamin E and a range of other nutrients which support a healthy cardiovascular system. So start eating one to two avocados a week or even more often than this to improve your overall health and improve blood flow around your body. Avocados contain a unique enzyme called avocatin B which can help to reduce insulin resistance and free fatty acid accumulation in the blood. Basically, it helps to prevent dangerous oxidized fats from sticking to your artery walls and blocking your blood flow. And finally, number 10 are some important herbs and spices. 
Many herbs and spices have been studied for their ability to lower high blood pressure because they contain thousands of healing phytochemicals. I recommend that you start adding these fresh key spices and herbs into your diet whenever you can by introducing them into smoothies, drinks, teas, stir fries and salads. Turmeric for example contains curcumin which reduces insulin resistance and helps to naturally stabilize your blood pressure. Hibiscus flowers are used to make a herbal tea that's rich in anthocyanins that have been well studied to lower blood pressure. Cinnamon helps to manage high blood sugar and protect the heart and arteries against oxidative damage. Lavender essential oils can be used in room diffusers to lower the stress hormone called cortisol which can directly lower your blood pressure. Raw garlic contains allicin which is an overall healer and also a blood pressure stabilizer along with coriander, rosemary, cat's claw, thyme, ginger, parsley, cardamom and celery seeds, all of which have been shown to help lower blood pressure. Now that you've learned about all of these different foods, let's look at the lifestyle changes that you can make to lower your blood pressure long term. 1. Start fasting for 16 hours per day and eat all of your regular calories in an 8 hour window. This is absolutely one of the best ways to balance out insulin levels, the hormone that's usually responsible for high blood pressure. 2. Cut out junk foods, sugars, refined flours and grains as much as possible from your diet and replace them with mineral rich raw vegetables like avocados, celery, broccoli, beet tops and the other foods that I mentioned in this video. Number 3. Speak to your doctor first and then start taking 20,000 international units of vitamin D3 on a daily basis and 200 micrograms of vitamin K2. Vitamin D is a type of hormone which is very potent for lowering high blood pressure whilst the K2 helps to prevent calcification of the arteries. This is vitamin K2 not vitamin K. 4. To lower cortisol, a stress hormone that often raises the blood pressure, start getting regular low stress exercise such as walking, swimming or biking for 1 hour per day. Gentle movements improve the flow of blood whilst activating the parasympathetic part of your nervous system which helps to balance out your blood pressure. 5. If you really really want to get this blood pressure issue under control, you want to restrict your alcohol to the weekend or cut it out completely. You'll also want to quit smoking and vaping as this depletes your vitamin C causing damage in the blood vessels. And number 6. Focus on improving the quality of your sleep. Go to bed an hour earlier, turn off all of your devices and allow yourself more time to wind down. Sleep is essential in the regulation of blood pressure and certain hormones like cortisol. You can use lavender mists or essential oils in the bedroom to induce melatonin which is the sleep hormone. If you'd like to learn more about the 6 vitamins that help to unclog your arteries, go ahead and tap on this video on the screen now. Thank you so much for listening to me struggle on through today's video and I'll see you in the next one.